1982, I um, had little children, and we found a health food store that was already here and bought it. As circumstances, I ended up cooking in there with my children so they didn't have to go to daycare, and uh, it evolved into a restaurant. It belongs to the town and to the people that have worked here over all the years because they've created it, whatever they were good at, or whoever came around that had talent. Um, we would try to make a place for them, whether it be music or art or food. And it was for the customers. Everything was, you know, pretty much just pleasing the customers. And it was such a small town that variety was the key. And, um, and most everybody that lived here is child worked here sometime or another, so very much a small town place. We've had a lot of local music always, and we've had lots of Cajun music. We've had mostly, I would say, uh, Roots Americana music. Ninety years without slumbering, tick tock, tick tock is like seconds numbering, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, it stops short, never to go again when the whole man died. Well, I grew up in the Boston area, and growing up in the Boston area, my whole neighborhood was an uh, Irish neighborhood, lots of kids, and I, so I sang all of those Irish sort of songs. When I moved to Texas as an adult, I, uh, I found out I was a Yankee, and uh, that's when I was real curious about what was the experience of my Irish ancestors uh, during the Civil War, and I know so many of them landed in the South as well. And all of those things have intrigued me tremendously, and so I've gone out and read some books, and found stories that I found inspiring and, and I've written songs about them. I'll play songs of, of a Confederate history tale, for example, and, and set it to an old Irish melody and uh, play it in an American folk style. So I do kind of mix up the music quite a bit and I do that on purpose. There's a meaning to life where the south wind blows, where the rivers wind down to the sea. There a man can be all that he's meant to be In command of his own destiny I met Jim at uh, a Civil War event here uh, over in Jackson and uh, we, we hit it off musically and sat around and, and gabbed for hours at a time and just, just had a good time so we started playing some together at the campsite and uh, he invited me to come down here and play some music with him and his son. I'm looking forward to it. Jed is an incredible uh, player, plays all sorts of stringed instruments and uh, we were out at an event earlier today and he was showing James some things on the banjo and it was just like, wow, you know, it just clicked, you know, so that's how you do it. And so he was wanting to mimic it uh, immediately. Jed Marum is just a great musical player because he's real original. He shows me on the banjo pretty much Every time I see him, he shows me something on the banjo, but he's really a neat guy. We're sitting there and I can see him watching me play or watching other players play. You know, he's a youngster and just learning, but I can see the wheels turning, you know. He's watching to see what other guys are doing and, and that's just that natural curiosity that you can't teach. I've seen folks die and go to heaven. That's the way it was in 1863. We love historical perspective music that is played in a, in, a, in a vintage style and accurately portrayed so that it's a, it's a nice listening experience. My website is jedmarum.com, J-E-D-M-A-R-U-M.com. And it can tell you all about where to get them. And uh, I've got links that'll take you right to like YouTube videos. There's also direct links to each of my albums. I've got about uh, 13 albums that are still out and available, all through CD Baby and Amazon and iTunes and all that sort of thing. So I'm real easy to find. And in fact, I sell most of my music through the online services. Magnolia Cafe is great. It's set right here a mile or two off the uh, mighty Mississippi River. This place has been here for. I think over 30 years, they got some great little overnight cabins that you can stay here. The food is fresh and it's, it's delicious and they always have great music and so, man, you got to support a venue like that. It's real. It's authentic. It's themagnoliacafe.net and the phone number is 225-635-6528. If you're ever in this area, it's worth a trip. Come by and see us.